Well, hi there. This is, well, a dream snake of mine. This is Shelby, my male false water cobra. I want to talk to you about how I wound up with a false water cobra, how I got myself bitten by a false water cobra, and why it's all Emily's fault. And that takes us back actually to the first time I ever met Emily. Um, we had just started our channel not too long before. Emily had started hers about a year before we started ours. Uh, I'd, I'd never seen any of her videos when we first got going and we were doing a lot of care videos, which weren't necessarily what I wanted to make, but I felt like, you know, somebody needed to kind of be teaching the, the basics of how to take care of a, a reptile. I wanted to focus more on picking the right pet reptile for you. And, you know, one day I discovered Snake Discovery, which at the time was still a very small channel, but I noticed that Emily was fantastic and she did such a good job explaining these basic care things. And I'm like, oh, thank goodness she's out there doing this because now I don't have to do it, right? Check that off the list. And and I also, you know, I, I wanted to, you know, build a, a relationship with this channel. And so we reached out to, to her actually uh, through her contact for, for doing uh, snake presentations and, and talked to her about doing this. I, I go up into her neck of the woods every year for a science conference up there. And, and so I was like, while I'm up there, you know, let, let's do a collaboration. And so we got together and I met Emily for the first time and she fed me cricket tacos, which was, uh, I'll never forget it. I would like to take a moment just to say thank you to our patrons at Patreon. That first trip to see Emily, I could only do because I had to be there anyway for a science conference. Otherwise there was just no way that would happen. But since then I've been able to go back and see Emily multiple times uh, and it's all because of you guys. Thank you, you've changed everything for us and this channel continues to grow and expand and increase in our abilities to do things because of you. If you're interested in, you know, seeing more cool collaborations and just sending us to places where we can show you animals that we just otherwise wouldn't be able to show you, please consider supporting us on Patreon. And also check out the cool features because there are a lot. And we filmed five more of the best pet snakes. And not long before this, not, not long before we got up there, Emily had released a video doing like a full tour of her collection. So I kind of knew all the snakes she had and I had five of them picked out that I thought would be good for this list. But she suggested one change. She suggested that we put the false water cobra on that list. And I'll be honest, I had seen false water cobras in my life, but only at the zoo where I learned that they're venomous. And I gotta tell you, there are a lot of snakes at the zoo that I find out are venomous that I never look into as potential pets. You know, I'm like, King Cobra, venomous. Well, let's, let's see if I want to get one. Nope, pretty much it ended right there. Uh, and so I never looked into the false water cobra. Well, if you watch that video of the first time that I handled her male false water cobra, you can watch me fall in love right on camera. I am just like, you know, Emily's talking about it. I'm just there like, oh my gosh, what a snake. And, and so as soon as I got home, the search began for me to find a false water cobra. And I, I started asking around, I joined a false water cobra group on Facebook. And I started asking, I'm like, from whom should I get a false water cobra? And tons of people came back and said, Kyle Wilson. And so I got in contact with this Kyle Wilson. And I got to tell you, he was, he was fantastic. He was fantastic to work with. Great guy. Uh, you know, I've, I've been in contact with him ever since. He continues to produce just incredible, incredible snakes. My only request, and this is my only complaint with my whole experience, was that he send me a really nice one because this is gonna be an educational animal. I need it to be something that, that people can interact with. Well, it arrived. It arrived and I was so excited and I wanted to film an unboxing video because I mean, this is like just the ultimate snake. And so I, uh, I threw on the closest clint reptile shirt, which upon closer inspection turned out to be 
the identical copy of my shirt, that is Leisha's shirt. So if you notice, the sleeves are uh, very revealing on on the girl's shirt. Uh, but but it was the same color, same design. You can order one actually right now in our Teespring store, uh, and you know you can order it with the same sleeves if you want to be matchy matchy with me. Not only should you check out the shirt that I was wearing in that video, but we also have a shirt with Shelby on it that was done by Michelle and it's amazing and it's not the water that's false. I was so excited though that I didn't even notice that I hadn't put on my shirt that I'd put on Leisha's shirt and and I got him out and you know as I as I typically do when I get a new animal I try to get it into its habitat fairly quickly but I do a quick inspection and I just wanted to show it to you guys real quick you know then it got there and that it was healthy and uh he was great, but I was doing something that I've actually uh, been doing a lot right now. My relationship with Shelby is much more established than it was then. But I was watching the camera, and I wasn't watching him. And he was he seemed calm, but he was cold and probably a little bit nervous, and he did try to bite me. And I kind of it felt like that, but then I thought, you know, he didn't bite me, and I looked down, and I was like, oh, I guess I, I just felt him jerk, and I got paranoid, and I, I sort of went back to things, and then he did bite me, and there was no mistaking it this time. Now, the false water cobra is the most venomous snake I have, and doing my research on false water cobras, people report that the venom is somewhere between, well, I mean, it does almost nothing to you, to it is like the venom of a timber rattlesnake and it causes necrosis. So I knew to expect something between nothing and necrosis. Um, I, I wound up with just a little bit of mild itching, but I didn't have a serious envenomation, and it was a very small snake at the time, so I still try to avoid it, though my relationship with Shelby has become what I would call excellent. He has become an excellent snake. And I learned a really important lesson from this. And I, you know, I, I obviously still don't apply this perfectly with Shelby. I, I know him well. I trust him. I'd rather not be bitten by him, but I am prepared for that consequence. There are people that tell you you should only handle a false water cobra with a hook. Uh, he is about the most venomous snake that I feel confident handling in, in this fashion. Free handling, if you will. Though to some people that's a, a four-letter word, which free is a four-letter word, so makes sense. Anyway, the important lesson that I learned is actually one I've applied a lot as I've handled hot snakes like king cobras since this time, which is when you are potentially in the strike zone of an animal, never take your eyes off of it. Uh, that is, if it's an animal that you would not like to be bitten by. Uh, that is definitely the case for a true cobra or a king cobra or a rattlesnake or, uh, you know, anything with medically significant venom. Uh, you know, crocodilians, snapping turtles. I apply this lesson. Always watch the animal because if you're paying attention to what it's doing, you have, well, a, a much better chance of avoiding any negative consequences. Since the time that I was bitten when I unboxed this snake, he's never bitten me again. I can tell you he is an absolutely explosive snake when he wants to be, he can launch himself. But he telegraphs his moods really well. He's got that hood that he flares up when he feels nervous. I always try to put hand sanitizer on shortly before I handle him so I don't smell like anything delicious. And we've just had a great relationship. I now feel confident giving him to people that don't know this individual as well because, I mean, he's a little bit more jumpy than other snakes. You know, he'll, he'll respond to, to contact sometimes by jumping a little bit, but he's never, uh, he's never been a problem. Never tried to bite me again. He is just, I mean, I just, I love this snake. Uh, when it comes to the reality versus my expectations, I expected this snake to be amazing. He's better than that though. I, this is one of the greatest snakes I've ever been around. I, I just, I love him. I love his personality. I love how intelligent and interactive he is. I love honestly that I do have to build a relationship with him. You know, he, he's not like many ball pythons or something that, you know, basically it comes out of the box, just an absolute delight. You, you know, I had to work with this snake and, and build that mutual trust. But now that it's here, oh, he's so cool. So thank you, Emily, for, well, introducing me to this incredible snake, getting me bitten, though obviously only indirectly your fault. Uh, I wouldn't change a thing. 
As always, like and subscribe, and we hope to see you real soon. Thank you.